starts to be diagnosed with a very common type of cancer, lymphoma, which is cancer of the lymph nodes. Here are five treatments I do for my dog. Number one, diet. I get my dog off of high carb kibble. There's a bunch of studies showing clear benefits by increasing protein, increasing fat. I change your diet to something like this, this prepackaged frozen raw food. This is high in animal protein, no carbohydrates. Then I'd add in this healthy fat, this is safflower oil. One study showed that a type of lymphoma that happens at the skin, cutaneous lymphoma, six out of eight dogs, they went into remission when they were given high doses of this, this safflower oil. It's high in a type of fat called linoleic acid. I'd be dosing my dog at one teaspoon per 10 pounds of body weight, twice daily. Next, the animal dewormer. This is Panicure. The name of this drug, Benbendazole. Some animal studies have shown clear benefits of using Panicure for cancer. I'd be dosing my dog at 250 milligrams, that two and a half cc's of the liquid Panicure per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Three days on, four days off. I dose for 30 days and then assess, is my dog responding or not? Number three, the medicinal mushroom. Reishi. There's a great review study in people showing that this medicinal mushroom, it was the most beneficial against lymphoma. It's very common in Chinese medicine for a reason. Suggested dose, 100 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. These are 400 milligram capsules, so the little 20 pound tula should be getting a half a capsule once a day. Number four, the flavonoid isolated from green tea, EGCG. The flavonoids, they seem to work especially well in combination with this, the Panicure. One study of cancer in rats, which shows rats receiving Panicure in combination with the flavonoid supplement, they showed marked response. A typical flavonoid dose, about 20 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Then number five, the sleep hormone. This is melatonin. It's a potent antioxidant and it seems to modulate a number of the different biochemical pathways. Melatonin can make it more difficult for the cancer cells to grow. It's very safe. We're looking at standard dog dose, about a milligram per 10 pounds of body weight. You wanna give that about an hour or two before bedtime. So if your dog has lymphoma, discuss some of these alternative options with your veterinarian. If you like tips like these, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. Links in the bio.